I'm Jay Kingley, co-founder and CEO of Maven, your host of Fractionals Unplugged. I'm joined today by Taylor Crane, founder of FractionalJobs.io. Fractional Jobs is an open job board for companies and talent to find each other and work together directly without any middlemen. FractionalJobs.io connects companies with fractional talent across 10 major job functions. Taylor is based in New York City. Welcome, Taylor. Thank you, Jay. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Welcome to Fractionals Unplugged, an insider's perspective vodcast and podcast from Maven. You've left the corporate executive world to build your own business to secure your income, savor your independence, and succeed on your terms. But you have to get past the struggles of acquiring clients, building a pipeline, and getting paid what you're worth. In this podcast, Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven, and his guests share their best practices, tips, and tricks on how you can get out of Struggle City and into Success City and beyond. Enjoy today's episode. Taylor, let's say I'm a new fractional CMO who's just launched my business, and my biggest struggle is finding my initial set of clients. I'm introduced to you by a mutual acquaintance. So I hop on a call, share my plight with you. You have a maximum of 60 seconds to give me your elevator pitch on what you can do for me. Go. All right, let's do it. Uh, So uh, Fractional Jobs is the job board for fractional leaders like yourself. Uh, You get connected directly to companies that are looking to hire fractional talent. We are not an agency. We don't take a percentage fee. It's your relationship that you own. To join the network, you simply just come to the website, fractionaljobs.io, enter your email address, and that's it. You don't have to create an account, you don't have to create a profile, and you don't pay us any money either. We just simply send you jobs in your function area, like in your case, your marketing, right? It could be engineering or design, what have you. Uh, And then we send you jobs and you tell us which ones you're interested in. Uh, For the ones you're interested in, we simply connect you directly to the hirer, who is typically the CEO, and then you take the relationship from there. We're basically designing ourselves to be a no-brainer in every single fractional's arsenal. So right. when, I, when I come on and I want to be part of the job board, how is it that I represent myself? Am I filling out a form? Is it a questionnaire? How much is structured? How much is free form that I put whatever I want? Is it just text? Is there video? Are there images? Take us through a little bit deeper on yeah. what my experience as a fractional would be when I want to get listed. So let's say you're a fractional marketing leader, right? And you see a role for a fractional CMO at a company that you're interested in. You see it on our job board or in our newsletter or on our social media. Um, you would submit an intro request. So it's a quick form. It asks you a few questions about yourself. And then it has a, a, a box that you'd write a note a bit about yourself. And you click submit. And that is the intro request. You can include a video if you want to. Some folks do, actually, which is quite nice. Um, but then your LinkedIn profile, you can attach a resume if you want to, but it's optional. It really is about that, that intro note that you write. Uh, and then we get that in front of the, the hirer, typically the CEO director. Okay. So the way you've described it to me is as a fractional, I'm looking at postings. Does it ever happen in reverse? I mean, am I in a directory? So if a client comes and they're looking for someone, they would have the opportunity to peruse my background and reach out to me? Not at the moment, but it is something that we're thinking about and perhaps planning for the future. At the start, we really designed this to be as simple and easy as possible for fractionals. We, I do fractional work as well, so we have enough on our plates. No need to create another profile right now. We have your email, we have your LinkedIn, and that's all we need. At the future, I think we, we might offer like what we call a reverse job board, where you can browse talent as a company as well. What type of fractional would get the most benefit from participating on fractional jobs? Yeah, so our um, our network of both fractionals and the companies that tend to be hiring through fractional jobs is does skew more start tech startup focused uh, as opposed to SMB focused or, or you know PE firm. We do have some we do some work in that area, but uh, the the most uh, the sweet spot, if you will, and the fractionals that'll probably get the most value out of the uh, the leads that we're surfacing are those that are interested in or already working within the tech startup ecosystem. Now, when when we started our conversation, I pseudo role played 
that I was a brand new fractional. Does it still make sense for me to come on and look for opportunities if I'm just getting started? Or is it something where you would tell me that you should have five years as a fractional before you peruse the site? No, it's very much uh, in the interest of serving those that are just getting started and those that are have been doing it for a while. But particularly for those that are just getting started, I mean, you're typically starting from scratch. You don't have any leads. You might be able to use your network to get initial clients, but outside of your initial network is going to be much tougher for you. And that's really where we come in. Uh, and we also have playbooks. We have playbooks that are particularly new fractionals or people that are entering the fractional space for the first time can read up on just the basics of what does fractional work look like? Who is it a good fit for? Who is it not a good fit for? Etc. So very much uh, geared towards the, the newer side of fractionals as well. So how do you find the clients that you want to drive to the job boards that is a fractional? I've got options to consider. Yeah, it, a lot of it has been inbound so far. So these are folks that are uh, discovering or aware of fractional jobs through one of several different ways. Uh, first, my you know my own network. I have, I have a pretty sizable network of tech startup CEOs, founders, VCs, you know, etc. But then. Um, you know, we launched the company six weeks ago and it, it's, it's spread quite well, frankly, on, on social media sites like LinkedIn. And so I get inbounds, uh, from, from that, um, you know, from the, those avenues as well. Um, I am, uh, spending all of my days working on, uh, finding more clients to work with. Uh, and so that includes outbound outreach as well. I will be honest. Uh, most of the success comes from the inbounds. Of course. So what have you learned? that the companies that are seeking to retain a fractional, what is it that they're looking for? I think fractional leadership is a great fit when a company does not have the budget for or the need for a full-time hire. And so to take like the tech startup example, the the classic example is like you're an earlier growth stage startup, you desperately feel like you need some, let's say, marketing leadership type work. Maybe the existing founders don't cover the bases there but you don't have the budget for and don't have the need for that full-time role. And so that's where a fractional marketing leader would come into play here. And like to say it simply, these companies are looking for uh, extremely talented uh, folks in a function area that have demonstrated experience doing exactly what they need done in their company, that they can come in part-time, hit the ground running, really executing from day one and delivering value early on um, in exactly you know the 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 problem set that they've been doing in their own career for you know 10 plus years. So when you think of all the different criteria that clients are looking for, and you, you certainly mentioned some important ones, but there's one that you didn't mention, mm. which is price. Yeah. And, and obviously we're talking about, you know, let's say that a, a competitor of mine, and I'm going to define competitor, a fractional in, in the same functional area, mm-hmm. says that they will provide this service for $2,000 per day per Mm -hmm. week. And I say, well, I'm $2,500 per day per week. Is is price at the top of the list? Is it the bottom of the list? Is it in the middle? Or is it all over the place based on who the client is? That's a great question. I think it's towards the top of the list. Maybe not the single top item, but definitely towards the top. One of the most important reasons why a company is going the fractional route uh, is to save money. And the more expensive a fractional hire becomes, the closer it begins to look like, like you know, a full-time spend, in which case the, the company might then you know, be better off going for that full-time hire. So there needs to be enough of a, of a cost savings um, in order to go the fractional route. Go back to my, my introductory comment where I was role-playing that fractional CMO. I know there's a lot of us out there. Yeah. And when I find a client that I would find very attractive to me, probably a fair bet on the job board, there are many other fractional CMOs that are also reaching out to that client and say, hey, how about us? So what advice can you give me as a fractional on how I could differentiate myself from all the others who do what I do so that the client who's come to your job board will hire me, not the other guys? Yeah, this is a great question. I now have the privilege of seeing what we call intro requests coming through every single day. 
that I then send to the companies that are hiring and the companies that are hiring give me feedback on those intro requests. Yes to this one, no to that one. And I also get feedback on why they said no. So I think I'm in a pretty good position to answer this. I think a lot of people that are requesting intros are making the mistake of uh, writing very generically about the breadth of their background, like 15 years of experience doing all these kinds of things. It's a great pitch for them as a fractional when talking in general, but it is not nearly focused enough on what the specific company needs are. And rough percentage wise, I would say only about 25% of intro requests that come in are really well done in terms of their specifically addressing the job post. What I think about like, what is this company actually looking for? And then tailor your intro note to those specific needs. Bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. Here's what I've done at this company. Here's what I've done at that company that are going to be relevant to you when you analyze my intro requests compared to the job that you have. Um, so I think it's about specificity in a lot of ways. I think a lot of people, like us fractionals, we, we, we like to think of ourselves as experts. Of course, we are. Uh, a lot of us might think that our resume or our LinkedIn profile kind of speaks for itself. Um, and it, this speaks very highly about, again, the breadth of our experience, but it, it oftentimes does not speak directly to this specific company's needs. And so they'll have a LinkedIn profile, they'll have a great resume, they'll write a quick note like, hey, I'm Taylor, I'm a fractional head of products, we love to chat, period. And it's just not enough to, to get a company from not knowing anything about you to actually being excited about meeting you specifically because of the specific needs that they have. Does that make sense? A hundred percent. And I love the specificity. And let me just add a thought on the, the last point that you made. We are very big when we work with our fractional clients that the key determinant of success in your fractional business is your genius or your intellectual property. And that determines the losers from the, the, the contenders, from the pretenders, from those who will actually succeed. And we put them into four buckets, which is experience, which is at the very bottom. That's the resume. Your expertise, that's solving a problem that the client needs solved because they can't do it on your own. Your insight, which is helping clients figure out what their real problem is because they're spending all this time spinning around solving the wrong problem. And then wisdom, which is coming up with that out of the box, totally game changing way of looking in the world. Now, we normally talk about to our clients about how you position yourself at the highest level of your capability and then do your go to market in a way that reflects the strength of your intellectual property. But there's another side to it, which I think applies to what you're saying, which is, well, what is the client looking for? And you need to look at the client request. You need to say, are they looking for someone with experience? And if I want that assignment, then I better emphasize my relevant experience. If they're looking for expertise, then I better emphasize my ability to solve the type of problems they're telling me they have. Now, on the other hand, if they're looking for insight, they're telling me, that they need someone to come in and figure out what the heck is going on. Then I better start communicating what my insight is. And if they're looking for someone to help them change the game, then I'm only going to be able to be relevant to them if I have wisdom that I can share with them. So matching your capability to what the client looks like is absolutely the key success. And all I did is took what you said and put it in the lens of your intellectual property, which we think is the key driver. Now, I have to ask you a bit of a probing question, okay. which is, I think we'd like to understand how you make money as the owner of fractional jobs. Now, you alluded to, hey, as a fractional, I don't have to pay to respond, but who is paying? Is it the companies? Do I pay when I get an assignment as a fractional? And what does that look like, Taylor? Uh, I, I make the joke that uh, I'm the cheapest recruiter the world has ever seen. Uh, this is how the business model works. Companies pay $100 for a job post, and that's it. Fractionals don't pay. Companies don't pay a retainer of some kind. Fractionals aren't giving me a percentage referral fee of any kind. It's a $100 job post fee. 
and that is it. And there are reasons why I prioritized it. I sort of structured it in that way. And it, it likely will evolve over time as the market matures and as my company matures. We are not middlemen that are taking a percentage of the relationship, and that is critical. Well, at those levels, Taylor, not only is it a no-brainer for fractionals to constantly be on the job board looking, it's a no-brainer if you're a company looking for a fractional for $100 to get access to a pretty strong list of fractionals. I mean, there's a lot of other ways you can waste your money on. (laughs) This isn't one of them. All right, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to learn a bit about Taylor. You've spent the last 25 or more years working your way up the corporate ladder, achieving success and reward along the way. Whether corporate kicked you to the curb or you walked out the door of your own volition, there is no going back. You're nowhere close to retiring, so you're moving on to your second act as a fractional executive. You're feeling the thrill of freedom mixed with the dread of the unknown. You're not alone. Maven works with the elite 20%, turning the top fractional executive's aspirations into reality easily and quickly. Imagine the right clients needing your genius, chasing you to get it, and happy to pay you for the impact you make. Maven helps you build all aspects of your business to fund your lifestyle without having to work corporate hours. With Maven, market yourself easily, select your clients with purpose, and build a business that leverages your genius, on your terms, not on someone else's. Reach out to Jay at j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com. Transform your expertise into a prosperous business where you'll make the impact you want with all the freedom, flexibility, and control that you've earned. Welcome back. We're talking to Taylor Crane, the founder of fractionaljobs.io, who provides an open job board for companies and talent to find each other and work together directly without any middlemen. Taylor, let's find out a bit more about you. And let me start with what I think is an obvious question. Why did you start Fractional Jobs? So I am also a fractional head of product. And so I've been doing uh, this work for about a year now. And when I first started, I, I very quickly learned that the hardest part of doing fractional work is not the work itself. It's finding clients. Uh, and for those of us that have, uh, you know, a sizable enough professional network, uh, we we are able to find our clients through our network, um, but if if you don't have a large enough network, it's it's incredibly difficult to break in and um, and uh, get your initial client roster going. And then you know, ideally, of course, you want to have case studies, right? That you then show to future clients as well. And so um, the, the 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 inspiring thought here is that like you can be the most talented CMO or CTO you know out there in the world, um, but if you don't have um, a large enough network and or the network skills in order to navigate it, um, you're going to really struggle. Uh, and so I wanted to change that. I felt like the, that's something that was worth pursuing and worth trying to solve. And so, yeah, I started Fractional Jobs uh, so that a highly, any highly talented functional leader could build a successful fractional practice of their own without needing to rely just on their network to be able to do it. Now, obviously, when you launch a new business, there's a lot of time and prep to put it all together, to build it, to test it. But you've been in the market, as I understand, for about six weeks. You already have had 2,000 fractionals on your site. And that blows me away in terms of success. It also shows the need. But I've got a little bit different question. I want to know if you were doing this again, what have you learned from your experience? What would you do differently if you were going to repeat this a second? That's a great question. I'm going to give a very common answer that a lot of product people give, which is I would have launched earlier. I, I, uh, I was building fractional jobs um, alongside doing my own fractional work. Uh, so do, basically doing a part time, probably spent about uh, three ish months on it in total, uh, again, doing a part time. Uh, and I could have launched it significantly quicker if I prioritized some different things. The benefit there is like if I launched it earlier, um, I would have been able to start learning a lot earlier and uh, and sort of allow it to evolve more naturally as opposed to, uh, this is the, the classic product dilemma, but like keeping it in the box, right? And then like unveiling it when it's 100% done. Three months is, is, is like a fine timeline, but uh, yeah, definitely would have 
find, found a way to launch it earlier, I think that would have been to my benefit. Perfection is the enemy of learning and improvement. <laughs> so what's next for you and fractional jobs over the coming 12 months? Yeah, so I, uh, let's see. I, as you noted, like we have over 2000 signups uh, already from fractionals in the community. The, the support from fractionals has been overwhelming and it's incredible to see and, and motivating for me as well. Um, as we all know, the, the much tougher side of the marketplace here is what we call the demand side of the marketplace or the companies that are hiring. And I am spending all of my days right now trying to quote unquote crack this nut and, and figure out how can we evangelize the benefits of fractional leaders uh, among companies solve the awareness problem, first of all. And then once we solve the awareness problem, drive interest and engagement and activation among higher and fractional. I expect the next 12 months, and frankly, longer than 12 months is, is how I'm going to be spending uh, uh, my time uh, doing just that. I also, as a sort of tangential, but I noticed uh, I uh, plan to continue to bootstrap fractional jobs over the next 12 months using uh, the income that I earn from doing my own fractional work uh, as well. That's how I see the next 12 months going, prioritizing, uh, engaging with finding companies and doing so in a way that allows me to keep bootstrapping the company and growing it sustainably. So what's the best way for our audience, be they a fractional or a potential client who wants to post on the job board? What's the best way for them to contact you? So to contact me directly, uh, the easiest e you have email. So my email address is just tc at fractionaljobs.io uh, or on LinkedIn. My name is Taylor Crane. You can search me. Probably other Taylor Cranes out there, but I'm the only one that is building fractional jobs. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, those are probably, probably the easiest ways. Well, we hope so, Taylor. No doppelgangers for you. <laughs> Taylor, I want to thank you for being a guest on our Fractionals Unplugged show. Be sure to subscribe to both our podcast on all the major platforms and our YouTube channel for our videos. Until next time, make an impact on your clients and family on your terms, securing your independence with the freedom, flexibility, and control that you've earned.